I don't know if anyone is connected on the other side, but bless you, bless you, bless you, every single one of you that um, will listen to this message. And uh, whether it's now or later, it really doesn't matter. As I was waiting uh, for the Lord to speak to me tonight, this is the word that he gave me. Um, now, with that being said, I do want to tell you that I have a feeling um, that I am not going to continue with some of these videos. I'm just going to replay um, the ones that I've already done. Um, so for those of you who listen to them, um, I pray that a lot of them um, serve you for encouragement and uplifting, but also for truth. Um, you know, one of the things that I share with someone not too long ago is... I am not responsible to hold people accountable. I am responsible to speak the truth and preach the truth. And um, sometimes the truth um, is received in different ways. Amen. But the reality of it is the word of God is like a two-edged sword. It cuts um, everything. Um, it discerns between the spirit and the soul, the, you know, the flesh and the spirit. I mean, the word of God cuts people in half and that's just the way it is that's just the word and my responsibility is to preach the truth and the truth and allow the holy spirit to hold you accountable once you know the truth that's not you know it's not our job to hold people accountable that's the the work of the holy spirit it is the work of the holy spirit to hold people accountable it is the work of the holy spirit to remind you of his word it is the work of the holy spirit to show you the way and to light up the way that each one of us is to go that is not the responsibility of the pastor that is not the responsibility of the preacher that is not the responsibility of the prophet the prophet is just to bring the truth and then you have to choose um the same thing with pastors and all that you know their job is to bring the truth and and for you to then decide and to choose which way you're gonna go um we're not gonna hold you accountable amen when you stand before god you have to stand before god all by yourself there's not gonna be a pastor there's not gonna be a church there's not gonna be a husband or a wife or a, or your friend or your daughter or your son none of those people are gonna appear before the lord except for you and i'm not sure why god has me saying this tonight but amen to that I pray that um, it, it helps someone tonight, what I just said, and that it might it might help someone uh, wake up tonight, amen? Um, interesting, you know, uh, I, I just thought of the scripture that said, awake, awake my soul. Um, you know, a lot of people are still asleep, amen? And, and um, I pray that your soul is awakened tonight, that your spirit is awakened to the truth tonight, uh, or whenever you hear this video, amen, but tonight, I want to encourage those of you that have lost everything for Jesus, and have lost everything for the gospel, amen, um, the Lord was ministering to me about this, and before I even get started about losing everything, um, let me first start in reminding you of who you are, let me first start of reminding you that there's a process that we must walk through. There is a process that God guide us through as his children. Because in that process, we have to deal away with foolishness. We have to deal away with selfishness. We have to deal away with all that stuff that is not of the Lord. And so in the process that God will have you walk through, a lot of people call it the fire. A lot of people call it the desert. Um, you know, Moses went through the desert. Jesus went through the desert. Um, Jesus himself being the son of God was led to the wilderness by the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, this is going to help someone tonight. So I want you to know that every single one of the children of the Most High God, they have to walk through the desert. They have to walk through through the process before they can receive what God have have in store for them. So before I even get you know get started with the message tonight about what you have lost and and being ready for that reward, I want to start first. We're going to start in 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 Psalm 52 verse 8. Let's start there there real quick. Oh, Jesus Psalm 52, verse 8. 
and this is what it says but i am like a green olive tree in the house of god i trust in the mercy of god forever and ever i will praise you forever because you have done it and in the presence of your of your saints i will wait on your name for it is good so here in isaiah um in some excuse me i was thinking of isaiah in psalm 52 verse 8 god confirms that we as his children are like olive trees um an olive tree now the interesting thing about the olive tree is the fruit okay in order for you to produce the fruit um as an olive tree of the lord you must be pressed this is the reason why i want to talk about this before i even get started on the other portion but before you can receive what god has for you you have to be pressed an olive tree you know the when you when you produce fruit the fruit of the spirit that fruit is going to be pressed so that you can produce the pure oil the pure oil that flows from the holy spirit the pure oil that flows from the throne It is the, it isn't that pure oil that people are blessed. It isn't that pure oil that people are sanctified. It isn't that pure oil that people are healed. It isn't that pure oil that is um, produced out of you that people are blessed, that people are redeemed, that people are made holy, that people are cleansed. And so the Lord, uh, before I even get started in talking about what what the reward that God has for you, in the process of losing everything for Jesus and the gospel, I want you to know that you have to be pressed. And a lot of people are going through the process. A lot of people are going through the wilderness. It's okay. Just maintain that, that pressing. Maintain your walk with Christ. Do not look to your left or to your right. Just continue to walk with him. Continue to walk in his path. Continue to allow him to lead you because Everything that you have been through um, is going to be rewarded. Everything you've been through, every tear you've shed, every pain you've felt, every hurt you have, you have been through, every person you have lost, all those things are to purify you, are to produce something in you, are to call out, are to um, mature the person that God created in you. The person that got created in you has to be, has to come out, has to be birthed out. Amen. And the only way that God does that is by walking us through the wilderness, walking us through the desert. Okay. And in that process, in that process of pressing, in that process of wilderness, in that process of walking through the desert, the Lord wants you to know that it all has its purpose. And the purpose of it is so that only the pure oil flows out of you. Only the pure oil flows out of you. Only that which is holy, only that which is from the throne, only that which is from God can just produce and flow out of you so tonight um uh, uh, let me let me go back also let me mention here isaiah 61 isaiah 61 starting in verse 3 which says to console those who mourn in zion to give them beauty for ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they may be called trees of righteousness the planting of the lord that he may be glorified welcome miss saint how are you i'm glad to see you god bless you and your family keep you and protect you so tonight god is saying Listen, everything that you have lost, the process that you have been walking through in losing everything just for me, just for the gospel. God is saying, 
listen, I've had you in that process for a reason. I've had you in that wilderness for a reason. I've had you in that walk for a reason. Why? Because I needed, I needed you to figure out who you were. I need you to know who you are. I need you to know who you belong to in order for me to produce what I need to produce in you. So the Lord, you know, was, was ministering to me about this today saying, Everything that you have been through is for a purpose and a reason. Every tear you've shed, every pain you've felt, every hurt, every person that has left you for my name's sake and for the gospel, there's a reason for all of it. And a lot of times when we go through trials and tribulations and and hurt and pain, we don't like that process. We don't like the process that, that we have to walk through in order for the pureness of the spirit of the living God to flow through us. We don't like that. We don't like to be hurt. We don't like to lose things. We don't like to leave things behind. We don't like to break relationships. But the reality of it all is we have to. Because sometimes God wants to take us to places that people can't follow. You can't, you can't have all that baggage uh, 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 slowing you down in the process that God has you for where God is taking you. You can have all that stuff come with you. So what God does is he takes us to the wilderness. He takes us through, through the desert in order to break off and break away all those things that no longer will be applied for whatever it is that God wants us to do. So tonight the Lord wanted me to tell you everything you've been through has a reason everything you have been through has a reason every every tear you have cried every person that have left every single person that you have had to let go of is for my purpose and god wants to encourage you tonight go with me to hebrews 11 hebrews 11 and this is where it's gonna get good here tonight Hebrews 11, verse 6. Now, let, let me start in verse 4 because I need you to understand something here. I need you to understand something. Verse 4 says, By faith, Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, through which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God justifying of his gifts, and through it, and through it he being dead still speaks. By faith, Enoch was taken away so that he did not see death and was not found because God had taken him. For before he was taken, he had this testimony that he pleased God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him for he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. By faith, Noah, being divinely warned of things not yet seen, moved with godly fear, prepared an ark for the saving of his household, by which he condemned the world and became, became heir of the righteousness, the righteousness, excuse me, which is according to faith. So, in other words, this is what I want to tell you. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. However, I want you to understand that God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him, of those who diligently uh, walk after Him, of those that diligently walk with Him. I want you to understand that nothing that you ever leave behind, nothing that you ever lose, nothing that ever walks away from you because of the calling in your life, because of the gospel, and because of your faith in Jesus is ever lost. I want you to understand that your faith in who He is is very, very important, is very, very powerful. That if people decide that they can no longer be with you, that if people decide that they can no longer follow you, that if Jesus tells you, leave this and leave that behind, know that it is going to be okay because God has a greater purpose in mind for you. Go with me to Mark. Now, this is where it gets great. Mark. Mark chapter 10, starting in verse 28. Then Peter began to say to him, See, 
we have left all and followed you. So Jesus answered and said, As surely I say to you, there is no one who has left house or brother or sister or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my sake and the gospels who shall not receive a hundredfold now in this time houses and brother and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions and in the age to come eternal life but many who are first will be last and the last will be first Listen to me carefully. For those of you who have followed Jesus, no matter what happens, for those of you that have followed after the Lord every single step of the way, for those of you that have left wife, husband, family, friends, sisters, brothers behind because the Lord asked you to follow him and the Lord asked you to walk, walk with him, I want you to know that God is saying in this time, get ready to receive a hundredfold. For those of you that have lost everything for the gospel, that have lost everything for Jesus, that have lost everything for following him, for following after him, no matter what happens, I want you to know that God is saying tonight, I recognize the fact that you have left everything for me. I recognize the fact that you have had to walk away from a lot of things for me. I recognize the fact that you are by yourself on your own in your faith. I want you to know that I recognize it. And because I see that your heart is pure before me because I see that you are following me because I see that you are willing to walk with me no matter what price you have to pay. Luke 14. Luke 14 says, sit, sit and think about the cost, what it costs to follow Jesus. Think about it. Think about how much you're going to have to pay to follow Jesus. Because I promise you, it will cost you. So tonight the Lord is telling you, I recognize that you have left everything to follow me. I recognize that you have allowed yourself to stay away from things to follow me. But I want you to know that I'm going to reward you. So for those of you that have left everything for Jesus, for those of you that have left everything for the gospel, for those of you that have literally stand on your own and by yourself for Jesus Christ and for the gospel of the Lord, no matter how many people mocked you, no matter how many people talked about you, no matter how many people criticized you, no matter how many people mistreated you, no matter how many people ridiculed you, Because of your faith in Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone, the Lord wants me to tell you, get ready. Because I'm going to bless you with a hundredfold. I'm going to bless you with a hundredfold. So that's my word tonight for those of you that have lost everything for Jesus. For those of you that have lost everything for the gospel. To follow after him and to go after him. The Lord wants me to tell you, get ready, because I am going to bless you with a hundredfold. And now that you have walked through all that, all those trials and all those persecutions for my name's sake, now I'm going to show up and show out in your life. Now, with that being said, everything that you've lost shall be returned to you a hundredfold. A hundred fold. So, I pray that this has encouraged you and uplifted you and give you revelation of who God is. If you are following Him and Him alone, and listen, everybody that says that they're following Jesus is not following Jesus. But if you have left everything to follow Jesus, 
If you have left everyone to follow Jesus, if you have separated yourself to follow Jesus, Jesus is saying tonight, get ready. Because I'm going to bless you a hundredfold. Your blessing is coming. And remember, when you see everyone else getting blessed, don't get upset. Just bless them. When you see everyone else getting ahead, when you see everyone else getting what you dreamed of, what you wanted all this time, God says, it's okay. Because the first will be last and the last will be first. With that, I'll leave you guys tonight. God bless you and keep you and protect you. May he, his face shine upon you and may he give you his peace. But for all of you that have lost everything for Jesus, to walk after Jesus, to seek Jesus, to follow Jesus, God is telling you tonight, get ready because I'm going to bless you a hundredfold. Those of you who are last will be first. And those of you who have been first will be last. I'll talk to you guys later next week. I pray that this uplifts you and encourages you and empower you to continue to walk with the Lord. No matter what happens, continue to walk with the Lord because he's worthy of all praise and all honor. Amen. I'll talk to you guys later.